In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add HTML pages to your website, and these pages are going to be completely hidden from anybody in your WordPress admin, but they're still going to be accessible like any other page on your site would be. I'm going to show you how to find free templates online of pre-made HTML templates that already look really professional and snazzy. You just have to customize them with your own content, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture so we can create these HTML pages. I'll see you there. When you add HTML pages to your WordPress site, you can't find them anywhere inside of your WordPress site. They can only be found in the hosting account and via the internet. So to do this, we have to go into our hosting accounts you can go in via FTP. I like to go in via file manager these days and we find our website root, which is right here. And this is where you can upload your HTML files or you could have a separate folder. You could put a folder here called HTML if you wanted and then put the HTML files in there. But I'm just gonna put it into the root so that when you go to domain name.com forward slash the file name, it'll load the file. So I'm just gonna create a simple HTML file called hello you can call yours whatever you need to. So we have that file right here. I'm gonna click on the code editor and I'm just gonna type in hello world. Save that. And now when we go to this website, forward slash hello.html, it'll load that page. We have our hello world here. And now what we have is an HTML page that exists on our site, but does not exist inside of the WordPress admin or anywhere else. So you can effectively hide pages this way if you want to. Another thing you can do, head over to a place like Lead Pages. You've probably heard of Lead Pages, the landing page builder. What you probably didn't know is that in a lot of their blog posts, they offer templates in HTML. So in this one, we can download two of their top event landing pages. So I'm just gonna click on this, enter my email, click on give me the templates, says thanks for signing up, downloads are on the way, gotta check my inbox, so I'm just gonna go into my inbox. Here we have the email that they just sent us, click on claim your download to download the zip file with the templates in them. Then I just head over to my finder, got the files right here, unzip them, unzip just one of these, just use one as an example. And now we have all of the files associated with that landing page right here. Now I'm gonna change the name from index to event page. And then I'm going to rezip this. The reason we don't want to keep it as index is if I'm putting it into the root of the website, if it's the index, that's going to overwrite my home page, which we don't want. So I'm going to now upload lead pages dash template, which I just created, which was the contents of this one, just changed the index.html to something else. Go to the file manager, click on upload. And then we just upload that file here. Reload. Now in this case, when I unzip it, it's going to be adding all of these folders into my root, which maybe I don't want on second thought. So I'm gonna make a new folder. I'm just gonna call it events. Now I'm gonna drag and drop this into that folder. Now click on it, click on extract. Reload the page, can delete this and this actually. I'm gonna select all of these. I'm gonna move them up one level so they're in the events folder. And now that I changed my process halfway through, I'm gonna change this file name back to index. What this will do is when they go to, actually I'm just gonna show you live rather than explaining it. So to open this page, we have to go to events, events, page.html. The page should have loaded, so something went wrong. Let's head back into here, and it looks like I made a typo. This is actually event-page, and I have events-page. So let's take out that S. I like to keep those common errors in my presentations, just so you can troubleshoot stuff that you run into as you go. And here we have the actual landing page. This is our HTML page that we just downloaded from lead pages, just uploaded here, and it looks pretty darn snazzy and it's been, what, two minutes of work. And now you can go in and edit all this stuff, of course, by going into your code editor in the event page file, and then all the information that's on that HTML page is in here. 
So if you're comfortable in HTML, this is really quick to edit. Here they have links that are missing for Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google Plus profiles. This register link up here is probably not gonna go anywhere if I click it. No, it doesn't go anywhere. So clearly a lot of this stuff has to be updated, but this is a very fast way to get HTML pages online that look really nice. And you can find loads of these HTML templates for free online. So if you want a hidden page on WordPress that has or serves a certain function, I'm willing to bet you can find a template for it, and this is how you upload it and use it. Now I have one last tip for you. It's a quick and easy way to make this look in the address bar like it is an actual WordPress page. What we need to do is we go back into our file manager, change this from event-page to index.html. Now whenever this folder loads, it's going to load the index page because it's the index. It's the primary page in the folder. So if you had 52 different landing page templates like this, each in a separate folder, each in there with their own index file, each of those URLs are gonna load their own landing page. So if we go back to here, we can load that page by going to index.html, but that doesn't look like a WordPress link or WordPress URL. But since going to the events folder loads the index page anyway, we can just have events forward slash and it loads the index page, and this URL looks a lot more like a WordPress URL. So you can have these custom landing pages that are super easy to find, super quick to install, it takes a bit of time to update them, but at least you have a very pro looking landing page very easily and for free, and you can make the URLs look like WordPress pages. So whatever way you choose, having this as an index file here, or having the actual file name for that, whatever you choose is up to you. I just wanna give you some options. So that's how easy it is to create these HTML pages. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, do so. Then click the bell icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that appeared on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.